Hi folks, welcome back to the Barley Hopper. My name is Carl and I'll be your beer guide tonight. Or today or this morning. I don't know when you're drinking, but this is after work technically for me. Um, so we're doing another beer review today. Today I've got the Over the Moon Milk Stout and this is by Guinness. Now, uh, if you don't know, Guinness makes, I want to say, all their traditional Guinness Stout beers in uh, Ireland. But they recently opened their second location for their brewery in Baltimore, Maryland, which is a, it's about an hour-ish from where I live in Northern Virginia. Uh, we Virginia people don't really go to uh, Maryland very much, but this is a heck of a good reason to go. And I think that's where I got this, but I can't remember for sure. But it does say brewed in Baltimore, over the moon milk stout. You can see it's got the little moon face there. And let's see what else it says. Brewed and canned by Guinness Brewing Company, Baltimore, Maryland. Luxuriously smooth and sweet with creamy notes of chocolate and coffee. Made at our open gate brewery in Baltimore, Maryland, where we combine 250 plus years of Guinness brewing experience in Ireland with American beer creativity. Now, you should go up there. If you're in, if you're in the Baltimore area or the D.C. area, take the time to go there. Uh, they're making a lot of... Uh, different beers so they're making um, they, they might be making the regular stout I'm not sure and that's worth going just by itself but they're making this they're making um, a whole bunch of other beers I took a photo of the uh, the menu they've got a nice restaurant there too but I took a photo of the menu I want to say I can't find it now uh, but it's uh, it's worth going up there and trying some different things with the name Guinness one thing, you know, even if you don't like whatever style it is that you're trying, you know if it's from Guinness, it's going to be made well. So, you know, and, and they're making like a million gallons of it at a time. So, uh, you know, they're, they're going to put the quality, put the work in to make it a good product, making that much. All right. Nice amber color coming out of the can there. Easy to see through until you uh, get enough of it in the in the glass. Anyhow, let's see. Did I go over the uh, alcohol content? Five point three percent alcohol by volume, so not horribly uh, alcoholic. Um, uh, so you, you could probably drink a couple of these. First of all, you notice it's got great head retention. Uh, even holding it up, I've got these uh, lamps here that I use for lighting these videos, and uh, you can't see through it. You can't see any light coming through. That's sort of a hallmark of a modern stout. Uh, again, stouts are not always dark. Nowadays, they mostly are, but the traditional stouts are not. So I can see some bubbles coming up uh, through there. It smells wonderful. Smells a little chocolatey. I'm looking forward to this. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. That is rich and delicious. I don't really taste it. I said I sort of smell chocolate. I don't taste it. But there is a slight sweetness. Again, that's from the lactose, which doesn't ferment. So milk stout has lactose in it. You add that during the brewing process. And that's a type of sugar that doesn't ferment. So what it does is it leaves a little bit of sweetness in the beer. Um, and it's, it's just wonderful. It's rich and decadent. I'm giving this a four and a half out of five. And again, that's halfway between daddy-like and beergasm. So... I highly recommend this. Again, you, and I've actually seen this in the stores. You don't have to go to Baltimore to get it, uh, but you can certainly get it there. I've seen it in the stores, and I've seen it on tap at a number of bars. Um, I, don't, I think in this area even, but certainly in you know other places I just happen to wander into. Uh, I've seen it on tap. Um, go try it. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Put in your com put in the comments what you think of it. And um, you know, I'm glad you joined us again today. Hope that you'll join us again next time, whatever that is. And um, 
you know, let us let me know what sort of beers are in your area that are maybe local to you that you want to see reviewed. And uh, or you know, mass produced beers. I don't care. I'll I'll uh, review a Hams. I'll review a like Michelob Ultra or something like that. Yeah, those are good beers. But anyways, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, please uh, click like if you enjoyed the video. Click subscribe if you like to see a, a, a get a notification and stuff for uh, future videos when we put them up on YouTube. Uh, follow us on Facebook, the Barley Hopper. Three words. Follow us on Untapped and Instagram. The Bartley Hop, all one word for those two sites. And, uh, you know, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Keep drinking beer. Support your local breweries. And uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. Get some of that hand sanitizer stuff going on. Cheers. <laughs>